we just followed an extremely steep miner's trail down here. See my friends catching up there. Probably hear the river in the background. Really pretty spot here. Got some old cable in front of me. And there's some barrels and mine infrastructure over there. See the white quartz right there. It is winter, but the river's not going too much. So we've got waders with us. We'll cross over the river and go see what we're working with. But there's obviously stuff over there. We're down at the river now. That's the cliff that we came down. Believe it or not, there is a miner's trail there. We're just looking for the best place to cross right now because if we go into this icy water, that's gonna make for a bad day. And by go in, I mean fall in. I don't mean get across. It's looking really good across the way. When we are walking up, you can't see it, but there's a, we saw a miner's shack across the way there and more infrastructure. So one way or another, we're getting across this. All right, making our way across the river. And this is that miner's shack I was telling you about. And you get a better look of that quartzy waste rock pile in the background. Given what it took for us to get down here, I'm not expecting a lot to have been hauled out. The swish swish sound is my waders and I put on to get across the river. Okay. Oh, that's a good sign right there. I see the ore car there. This has the looks of an old dredging claim. But, because you normally see those next to the creeks and rivers like this after they banned dredging in California a while back. You see a lot of abandoned mining claims like this, but I'm not seeing dredging stuff, so I'm betting this is connected to the mine. See a black plastic pipe running down, which suggests more recent work too. By recent, I mean like 1990s. It's obvious nobody's been down here in a long time. Got electricity. Oh, let me get my light out and show you better. Well, I take back what I said about the dredging. Obviously, there was dredging going on here, but it does still appear there was work going on at the mine as well. Here is a look inside. This is a brand new light I'm trying out, so hopefully it works in the video. I don't see any sign of cool artifacts and stuff. This was just sort of a lean-to for somebody to sleep and store stuff in when they're working down here. But again, this is all screaming, you know, circa 1990s. So, I think we'll just check things out real quickly down here. That's probably an outhouse in the distance over there. Just check things out real quickly down here before we head up. But, there might even be another ore car over there. But I really like the sign of how things are looking down here. Looking around, that's that shack I just checked out. And I sort of panned over this canister on the way in without actually taking a look at it. We flipped it over to see the writing on it. And it's got a 1974 date. They don't want you to drop it. It's obviously stackable. It's a split canister. You can see the other half is missing, but it would have been useful for carrying stuff. We see something knows something. We can't make out the rest, so maybe one of the Vietnam veterans in the audience can tell us what this was. We're assuming it was probably for ordinance, just because you know the do not drop and has an ordinance look to it. But hopefully somebody in the audience can tell us. Yeah. Oh, that was for carrying, uh, you know, nuclear warheads of the whatever, whatever class. Some stacked rock down here, a bunch of quartz. This section was burned. I see ore car wheels. The 
Oh, I'm feeling good. I don't want to ruin it by going up there yet because I want to look down here, but I'm feeling good about this one. That's a sizable, sizable waste arc pile. And look, there are more ore cart wheels. And I think that's a blower. The barrel here. Tate chemicals. Huh. Oh, more ore cart wheels. So yeah, those are ore cart wheels. Oh, that's not ore cart. That's a blower right there. I'll take a look at that in a second. And I thought that was a wheels from a distance, but that's not. That is part of the frame it would rotate on that for the blower oh whole piece of drill steel right there that I didn't notice from the branches until the last second um, here. champion blower and forge company Lancaster Pennsylvania USA See, the cool thing about this spot is it's so hard to get out of here that I bet a lot of the infrastructure is still in the mine. So, that bodes well. We'll go check over there, and then we'll get up the waste rock pile here and see what's up there. There's that miner's shack there. It's obviously been work done along these cliffs they're very unnatural looking carved out probably surface stuff so there's an old can dump here some of this stuff looks older than the 1990s sort of a mix of new and old see some old box springs right there so i'm guessing this so uh, was the trash dump for the original operation that the the newer guys just tossed some stuff on top of I assumed that this was an outhouse over here, but it's looking less like that. Oh, no, it is. There's the toilet seat. Yep, outhouse confirmed. All right, I followed this landing here to the end. The shack and such is back that way. We actually think this, this landing here was made by dredging back in the 1800s. I mean, not recent, but old, old dredging. How's that look? There's an uh, old campsite down here. I thought this was kind of cool. You see the remains of an old cot frame here. And I was thinking, what a nice spot down here all by yourself along the river, near the river at night. And campfire and such over here. Pretty scenery all around you. And like I said, it looks like it was cut out of an old ore car. Looks like they use it as a grill of sorts. Pretty spot, huh? All right, let's get up that hill. See what's going on with this mine. Just climbed up the waste rock pile here. See all the quartz. There's some more stuff to show you when we get back out. That I saw after climbing up here but I have switched cameras so you know what that means that's right that means we found something good the waste rock pile extends all along here you see rail stretching out there dropping down towards the miner shack which is in there Waste rock pile extends all the way around over there. See, it looks like some work's been done along these cliffs here as well. Those look pretty worked, but not as worked as that giant hole in the ground right there, which I am very excited to go check out. Now, there's a modern PVC pipe coming out of it, which undoubtedly dates to that work in the 1990s. It goes as far as I can see right now. I wanted to point out 
the quartz vein right here. People sometimes ask me how the miners know where to dig. Well, this is how. This quartz vein right here, cropping out to the surface, would have been spotted pretty quickly by the miners. In fact, there's more of it over here. See the quartz here? It's a big quartz boulder. So the miners would have seen this quartz vein on the side of the hill that was carved out by the river. And they started running in on it. Yeah, see? That's all vein right there. Here's a closer look at it. So that's pretty with the fern right there. Alright, hopefully don't make friends with a bear. Looks like it goes and bends to the right. Pretty bad ground right here in the entrance. But usually the, the ore bodies on the vein don't have great ground. Usually the host rock is what's stronger. Okay, good. Looks like we were in business. I was afraid it just ran back there and stopped, but it looks like we're bending off to the right. Oh yeah, that goes. That goes. This is all quartz. You see this? <laughs> There's a lot of quartz here. They even use the quartz for gobbing. That's the first time I've ever seen that. And let's try to see if that's rail or an airline. Okay, that's a rail. Oh yeah, here we go. Rail there, rail there. I don't see old airlines. These are modern air and water lines. And it runs back. Man, it's all quartz. A little stope right here. All quartz. This is all solid quartz. I'm just standing in a big blob of quartz right now. And then, like I said, it keeps running that way. I can see about 100 feet ahead of me, and it's still going, so that's a good sign. You can see the distinctive quartz veins here. See the distinctive lines. There's a little, huh, a little cross cut here. Actually, I don't even know if I can call it a cross cut since it goes through solid quartz. Uh, that looks like the wiring for explosives. So there could well be explosives in there. We'll take a closer look at that. But this is all quartz. I think this was just a little exploratory side chamber that the, the more modern miners were using for power storage. So, I'm still blown away by that gobbing made out of quartz. I've never seen that before. But, I'm more curious about what's ahead. Yeah, it's looking better too. I'm gonna let the others catch up and I'll pick up right here. As promised, I'm picking up in the same spot. Aside from the friends, I went and got my pack as well. So I'm better prepared in case this runs or caves in on us. Kind of tough stumbling through those rocks. Very warm and humid in here. That means I have a timber set right there. Very spacious here. I don't often say that in older mines, but with all the quartz I'm seeing around me, I'm thinking this is kind of hybrid stoping and drifting. Very clearly, see the quartz running all through here. See the rail more distinctly here. And now this is looking more like a proper at it. Good echo. 
Hear that echo? Fantastic echo. Got some flow stone here. Actually flowing off the quartz. Don't usually associate flow stone with quartz. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at this delicious quartz, wow. You see the contact zone very clearly right there. A little piece carved out there. But this is all massive quartz vein on the left here. You can see where it dips down on there, the foot wall. Running, oh, that's a beautiful sight, look at that. No ground fall or anything. Man, that's beautiful. Nice little start of a raise here. I'm not surprised, they're running up through solid quartz. Must not have assayed out too well though, I would have expected them to keep following it. And that graffiti is probably just marking a sample, a location where they took a sample from. If you look at the angle of the, the back of the attic or the top, you can see exactly the exactly where the quartz vein ran. Now this is giving good signs. That iron right there, that irony material, that's a great indicator for gold when you see it in conjunction with the quartz. I keep repeating the old expression about how gold rides an iron horse. Just admiring these straws here. Trying to show a little more of the geology. A lot of people complain that I kind of rush through the geology. But I'm pretty curious about what's ahead. So just run, okay, now the quartz vein is over our heads and to our left. So it's still pretty, very present, if you will. See it dipping down there. But then it's still present on the right. That is more modern. That's for hanging, see, like a, a vent line. The vent line would have run through there. So that's obviously from the, the 1990s operation. More the flow stone. More of the iron material. This right here is making me glad I've got the waders. And what's nice is that when we walk back across the river, it's gonna wash this mud right off. A lot of iron in here. Wow. Sometimes, the geology is the most interesting thing in the mine. Not saying that's the case here, but sometimes that is the case. It's an old drill steel right there. Old, old drill steel, look at that. Doesn't have the hole on top. That's cool, that's old, old drill steel. Well, they started a little chamber there, but they're probably looking for the quartz. I don't see the vein anymore. We've lost the vein, so I would imagine they were looking for it by running off to the left right there. There's a pipe right there. Oh, that's old vent pipe. And we've got a big thing right here. 
got quartz again, of course. Running up, whoa. That runs way up there. I'll show you that better in a second. Meanwhile, we've got drift running off to the left. Drift going straight. I'm gonna wipe the lens off because it's getting fogged up and get a brighter light. Okay, brighter light. You can see the layout here. And quartz main running up this race here. There's a look up the rail. Okay, it looks like it does stop there. I wasn't, couldn't tell the light before. Do you guys see that? There we go. So the raise does indeed stop there. But it's through quartz, it's solid quartz all the way up. You can see the vein running all the way up right there. So that's pretty cool. And then, like I said, we've got stuff running ahead to the right. That looks like this might end right here. I'll run this out just in case. I don't see any sign of quartz. Well, a tiny little piece of quartz right there, but I don't see. Yeah, it just stops right here. So I'm sure this was exploratory. That drill pattern looks more modern, so this might actually have been. Yeah, this might have been the guys in the 1990s that drilled this out. They're probably exploring for vein action and quartz that the, the old timers missed, but. Doesn't look like they missed much. We just looked down that side drift. Got that chamber there behind me. And now we're gonna be going down the road. More quartz overhead. Look at that drill mark. See it's going straight up? You see that? Right there? Oh yeah. Interesting. And we're running up on it. Huh. Speaking of drill, oh, from the blasting? Yeah, they're massive. I did a terrible job. And I was like, was oh, like yeah, he's a right. Foot and a half deep, eight inches deep, another one over there. Those are distinctive marks from blasting, but they look kind of sloppy, as he mentioned. So, could have been the rock. Could, true, could have been the rock. Weird looking piece of uh, flowstone right there. But I was just about to say, speaking of drilling, we got more old, old drill steel here. This looks like the stuff we saw before. Does that have holes on the top? No. Nope. That is old. Tell by the... You can just tell by the, the pattern as well. Yeah, the uh, four-way pattern. Yeah, that's very distinct. And where it tapers down. Exactly. The drill. Wow, that one's really dull. Well, it makes me wonder if this mine didn't close during the war racket. There's so much of this turn of the century steel sitting around. Good point. Why would they have left this here for 40 years after they stopped using it? Yeah, we were speculating it's probably closed in World War II, but now we're not so sure. Keeps running ahead that way, looking wet. Oh, wow. We're going to have to go up this. That's a huge, like, railroad tunnel sized yeah, raid. Yeah, going up a ladder or something. Though. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely go up that on the way out. There's a, this airline right here. But yeah, that's, that looks like a railroad tunnel going up that way. Training boat. Got the quartz vein back on the right. See the vent line here. A lot of quartz. Look at all that quartz. Still hanging. No, this is unusual to see this. There's more of that blasting we were talking about. I'm going to give the old timers the benefit of the doubt and say that that was the rock. Look at the crystals in there. In there. You can see that. Not so well. Trust me, there are crystals in there. Oh, there's a better view. Look at this. Somebody's been picking at those. That's a good, good sample right there. All the way down that pocket. All right. Ooh. 
very dark rock all of a sudden. We've lost the quartz vein, lost the water, lost the, oh yeah, okay. There's the quartz vein again, overhead, sort of. Just pinching out here and there. Oh, this is a good sign. We've got a junction here. I like features like this. We've got another, wow, looks like stuff going off. Of, okay, there's a lot going on. There's the rail junction here at my feet. You know I like rail. There's quartz all over the place. And bits and pieces of boards and rail. You see, drift runs off that way with rail and good deliciousness. We've got rail running ahead straight forever. Quartz, and then we've got drift running off to the left. And if that wasn't enough, we've got a raise overhead. So, this looks like fresh blasting. This spot is definitely delivered. And Jake just said, with a spot back here, it looked like fresh blasting. I don't mean like fresh. I mean well, I know what you meant. Yeah. It's still a powder coating. It's got that well. gray powder coating. And there's no uh, development of flowstone or any other. True. Minerals. Well, since we're already here, let's run this out. But and it's clean. I definitely agree with him. This grayish powdery look is something I associate with modern mining. I don't see any sign of quartz vein, so it seems these guys were doubting the old timers again, and look where that got them. Got them nowhere. Don't doubt the old timers. Justin. Ah, so we have a live. Uh, yeah. Cool. Not much sunlight here. Look at that. How is that growing back here? That is amazing. Yeah, timber on the floor. Yeah, for yeah. the uh, slide rail or yeah. the yeah. What we're getting out is that a mucker probably could have rolled out on that and Scrape just scraped right off of it like a blast sheet. Exactly, scraped off like a blast sheet, and it would have been lighter to carry the boards down here than a big piece of metal. Which, given where we are, is a factor. I've got a couple of viewers that are interested in. Biology underground. And this is a good, good specimen for them. Yeah, that's really interesting. Glad you're getting a picture of that. We just looked down that drift, the modern drift, as a refresher. We're back at this raise. It does stop up there. If you can't tell on the camera. And since we started out left hand rule, I'm going to stick with that and go straight. Let's see where this goes. Carved out a chamber here. That could be 1990s as well. See little peaks of quartz along the sides, but certainly not the vein activity that we saw before. So this may be more exploratory in nature. I'm not seeing any sign of quartz vein now. There's more old drill steel. A lot of silicosis in this mine, I'll bet. With that quartz like that. And those old drills. There's like a Victaulic clamp right there. This looks more modern. That's a uh, drill clamp. That is what I was, I was thinking, oh, that looks familiar, what is that? Yeah, you're right, it's a drill pit. It's mounts into a post. That's older. That, that is old. I take back what I said oh, about wow, that. that echo just kicked in. Yeah, it's pretty good ground. This is kind of weird. <laughs> Another piece of drill steel here. This is weird. How much they left behind. Again, old. See, it doesn't have the hole in the top. And it's got that unique shape that sort of tapered 
almost like a baseball bat tapers down. This isn't a too good of shape. It's kind of sus. It is weird, isn't it? It's it looks way too nice of shape. We find like steel from the 40s that looks worse than this. And this isn't Nevada. This is a wet mine. Yeah, I'm confused. I wonder if we're going to find the drill next. Oh, I guess not, because this is the end right here. Well, like I said, I told you I didn't see any sign of the vein. I guess the miners agreed because they stopped here. Oh, I was just sitting there? Some of that. Or. I wonder if the, uh, the guys in the 90s just found a ton of old steel oh, somewhere kind of safe and then they just spread it around while they were working. Because they, they definitely stuck this in here. Yeah. Yeah. Just for the record, viewers, that was not. <laughs> this was not carved out by that <laughs> hand drill. That's a modern drill. Yeah. Again, the modern guys didn't find anything. It's the old timers that got it. Modern miners suck. <laughs> <laughs> they never find gold. <laughs> We're including ourselves in that. Yeah. Cool. Well, we still have one more drift. You just had to swap out a battery. So that's the area we were just checking out. And we still have this drift here. My friends have gone a little bit ahead of me. The quartz has a different consistency here. It's hard to articulate what's different about it, but it's a little more rough, a little more crumbly here, but still very present. As you can see. A little mineralized band on the back of the adit. Miners pull the top of the adit the back. There's yet more old drill steel on the ground there. And that is old. We've got more of these crystal pockets. There, for example. I hear a lot of activity up ahead, so I'm wondering how my friends are up to. Some boards there, vein action. Got friends going up this raise. You have to come up. Okay, do I? It's like three feet through this passageway like this. Yeah. And there's just a ball, a tiny ballroom of crystal. Oh wow. And there's even a little mouse living in it. Are you serious? Yeah, it's like a fantasy house for a mouse. Okay, well, I'll be right there. That's that's extraordinary. The mouse house. Yeah, like a crystal ballroom. So that's like a, a royal mouse, really. All right, so there's a raise right there. And it looks like, okay, we just stop right here. So I'll be going up the mouse house raise. Imminently. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here, but if you look, uh, as I say, the vein pinched out, but a little bit of it there, but it looks like it's petering out. And if you look ahead, they stopped here because there's just nothing, no vein. So they obviously ran up on it here. It must have assayed out decently because they took a fair amount out. All right, I will start heading up this, and we'll check out the mouse house. I was just standing down there looking up, and now I'm about halfway up this raise, having climbed up along here. And I am at the mouse house, although I'm gonna upgrade it to the mouse house, because this is impressive. So if you look, uh-oh, let's get the light to focus a little bit. If you look back there, Come on. All right, you look back there, you can see the Crystal Palace and then the mouse nest right there, sort of on the bottom left. That is indeed the coolest house I could imagine. All right, I'm trying out different light settings to give you the best view of the mouse palace. Hopefully one of these works. I've tried like three or four now. I'll include the one that looks best in the video. Got the mouse palace right there. Got a ton of quartz all around me. 
And then those guys. Crystal coated pyrite and made it look very. Gold like. Icing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guys are camping out on the top. I'm going to make my way up to them. Oh, old tools down here. There's a pick head right there. And a piece of a shovel, or the head of a shovel right there. And some really mineralized rock. There's just crystals all over the place on the ground here. Obviously, it looks like the miners of the 90s were picking out crystals all through here. They fall this back. Yeah, we got It's just on the surface of the light bulb. Yeah. Given the poor looking quality of the, the drifts they ran, or the cross cuts they ran in the 90s, they probably did a lot better with crystals than they did with gold. Yeah, these are all crystals, huh? The guys must have spent all their time in here. Picking out tons of crystals. And this this uh, this rays matches the waste rock outside a lot. It does. It does the quartz? What he's talking about is a type of quartz. And it would make if this was the last area that the and I'm not you know excluding the guys in the 90s, which doesn't look like they took much out. If this was the last area the miners before them worked, it would make sense because that would be on top of the waste rock. Yeah. Is right back there. Oh, there's carbide writing there. You can see the veins starting to pinch out right there. Which is probably why they stopped here. But man, there are crystals everywhere. Look at all these crystals. Wow. Okay. There's the carbide ride. It looks like rock. What did you see this said? It looks like rock woo or a moo to me. Rock moo. Rock woo. I like rock woo, but yeah, it's an M, yeah. Yeah, rock moo. Rock it's, there's something on the end, but. Yeah, I can't make up that. I'm just gonna stick with Moo and stop thinking about it. Maybe it's Mouse. M O U S E. Rock Mouse. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He's been here this whole time. Yeah, that's impressive. He's even tagging the rays. Who's that? Was him? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm never gonna forget him now. <laughs> I know. He's, he's immortalized now. And he's in a YouTube video, which is gonna be seen by. Undoubtedly, this view is, this video is going to get millions of views, right? Millions. Yeah, yeah. Some black quartz here too. Huh. That piece broke. We just looked down there, and we're noticing some kind of cool artifacts on the way out. Jake just found the remains of an oiler here, which is kind of cool. An interesting mix of things that we we wouldn't expect in here, and things we would expect. Yeah, when we when uh, mines have been worked in the '90s, it's you usually find even drills. We found multiple drills, hoses, everything, trash, and nothing that old. And in this mine is the opposite. We're finding stuff from the turn of the century that just shouldn't be sitting around still. Right. And really, nothing modern except for a few things outside. Right. And speaking of things outside, there's some good stuff outside to show you still. So we're gonna start moseying our way back out there. All right, I forgot about the railroad tunnel. But I already put my other camera away, so I'm waiting to see if it's good or not before I climb up there and get the good camera out. Flashlight's good. Yeah, flashlight, I'm pretty impressed with the new flashlight. This is just on the floodlight setting right now, too. This isn't even beam. So keep going. Hey, man. It ends? Yeah. At really cool stuff and a level? What? Does it, it end at really cool stuff and a whole nother level? Actually, no. Oh. oh. Are there any regal mice? I don't see regal mice. All right. Okay. Well, there's good stuff outside, viewers. So let's get you outside. The mine we just checked out is up there. And I'm back down next to that ore car frame, the pivot. And something I want to show you here is this rock wall the miners built at the base of the waste rock pile. 
thought that was pretty interesting. It's obviously been there for a long time. Get a better view of it. Now, the reason they built the rock wall was to preserve this road running through here. And I'll show you why the road is preserved in just a second. Walk with me while we can admire some of the scenery down here. You see they built the road. You can see it more curly through here. Look at all that quartz. You see that? There's a metal thing right there. Didn't see that before. But, much bigger metal things over here. And this is what I want to show you. We have both a modern compressor and an old compressor here. Got a lot of questions about how the guys in the 90s got this down here. I actually have a lot more questions about the work in the 90s than I do about the, the old timers. And that's pretty awesome seeing this compressor here. I'm more, I'm more impressed with the artifact in the sense of the old compressor, but I've got more questions about how the guys in the 90s got this down here. I'm not exaggerating, it's essentially just a goat trail dropping down the mountain. There's no way this came down on a trail. But to get to try and say what I was saying in a better way, the historical value of this is much greater. But the the mystery on that one is greater. That's what I was trying to say. It's remarkably intact. Looking for manufacturer's plate, but, oh, I think I might see it. Maybe not. A Jarek, Jarekie Manufacturing Company, Erie, Unloader. Looks like November 22nd, 04, but they're not talking about 2004. I'll tell you that. And they've got this riveted air receiver tank right here. That's really cool. And then, of course, the old airline running up the hill to the attic. And we saw the remains of that underground. I had a look at the modern compressor. You can see it was a Gardner Denver. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Got the compressors right there. Good look at the quartz strewn waste rock pile there. But the reason I turned the camera on is because I believe I'm standing on the pad for a tram station. So the rock, well, it's sort of a rock wall right there. It might be hard to see on the camera in two dimensions, but there's a rock wall right there. Nice flat pad extending out like that. And good shot up the mountain. It's a lot farther away than it looks up there. And if you look even more carefully, you see those bolts right there and there. And I would just look more carefully, I see the cable. I see the cable right there as well, which I had missed before. So that's even more evidence of aerial tram system. That makes a lot more sense 
you think about the ore car, the old compressor, things like that. I'm sure all that was trammed down, rails, etc. Again, that would just head straight up there. Would have been an efficient way for the miners and equipment to get in and out. And the ore to get out too. But again, what's really getting me is how the guys in the 90s do it. Alright, we're headed back out. Crossing the river again. See if my buddy falls down or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this mine. We think it was pretty cool. Got a lot of questions about it. Especially the crew from the 90s. Now we're going to start the long, long hike out. That's still not the top up there. There's more up beyond that. But it was worth it. Very beautiful down here. This is a trail. We're hiking back out now. Just to give you an idea. I wasn't kidding about it being a goat trail. You can see how much these guys are working. And then it's not like I just picked a steep section. It continues being steep on up that way and up the hill as you can see that's the waste rock pile for the mine we checked out way down there and just want to show you what we're hiking up it's a beautiful country if nothing else but i turned the camera on for another reason which is that we've come across either a miner's trail or the remains of a flume line cut into the rock here we passed this coming down so we check it out on the way back and it's more developed than we realized so we're running that out now probably not going to find anything but you got to run stuff like this out and it gives me an excuse to show you the countryside so that trail we're following came down through here and I'm even more intrigued by it because it's getting better of course we ditched our packs because we thought they wouldn't really go anywhere and those are the kind of experiences that lead to the best stuff so we'll keep following this and I'll let you know what we find still following that trail down definitely not a flume line because it switched back and down at way too steep of an angle and switched back in which a flume wouldn't do either but you can see how they carved out a solid rock right here this is not just some sort of casual what am I trying to say? It's not just sort of some casual trail somebody did to like go get a view or something. Somebody did a lot of work carving this out of solid rock. Well, I followed the trail around and it terminates here. Pretty scene, but it's a bit of a mystery why somebody did so much work on that trail. Look how deep. This is cut, that's 25 feet down. Winding its way down. Can you see the trail stops here? I mean, it's not like it used to go across the way. Right? Is there a little trail down there? We've seen lots of little game trails and things like that, but nothing like this main one. So, given the busted up quartz and such you see everywhere, our working assumption now is that it's a really high quality trail that was built in the 1800s for surface work because if you look well I'll get a little bit closer if you look the ground in many places is scattered with pieces of quartz and that's not stuff that washed down from above 